The newly crowned Moto3 world champion received a warm welcome from a large group of motorsport fans who had braved the early morning traffic on his arrival at OR Tambo International Airport. The world's best rider on a 250cc bike was overwhelmed with the reception but admits he would have preferred returning home without a broken arm he sustained in testing in Spain. I really plan on coming home and training really hard and building more muscle and obviously getting a bit fitter and stronger. But unfortunately, this has put a bit of a damp on it. But at the end of the day, it's still a long time till the first race of the season. South Africa's motorcycling star believes that the sport is growing and that his talented countrymen competing abroad certainly could add more world titles to his 2016 triumph. You know, I, I'd love to see more South Africans on the world stage. And uh, they seem to be coming slowly. So, yeah, I hope in a few years' time there's the there's a same amount of South Africans as Spanish or Italians in MotoGP. The KTM Red Bull rider turned down an opportunity to join MotoGP next year and is now focusing on challenging the best the circuit has to offer in Moto2 next season. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't really think about the future too much. If you think about the future too much, you don't really take advantage of what you're doing today. So my goal is just to stay focused on what I have at hand. And like I said earlier, just try to build into it step by step. And uh, hopefully we can do it well enough to get to the point where I can win another championship. With seven wins from 18 races, it has been a fairy tale season for the 21-year-old who will now make the step up to Moto2 next season, where it promises to be a stern challenge even for his incredible talent on two wheels. But Binder is motivated and excited, and you can bet your bottom dollar he won't be settling for anywhere else but top spots on the podium in 2017. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.